but he caught the attention of the maze in blue. The University of Michigan opened its doors to him. There were seven guys on the depth chart when I got there. Scott Dreisbach, who was the year ahead of me, Brian Greasy, who was the year ahead of that. Jason Carr was going into his fifth year. Scott Leffler was this highly recruited quarterback out of Ohio. I remember being out there the first day of practice and being like, man, I'm better than these guys. Now, of course, I wasn't, but just that's that was always my attitude. Come on, Brady and Greasy, hurry up. By his sophomore season, Brady was pushing number 14, senior Brian Greasy, for the starting job. Greasy and Tommy were, they were tied. I mean, they were neck and neck. No one knew who was going to start. And Coach Carr's thing was always the tie goes to the upperclassmen. I remember Tommy being a little, uh, you know, mad about that and thought about transferring and thought about going back home to Kell or something like that. He came back the next day. He sat down right in front of my desk. He said, Coach, I'm not going to leave. And I'm going to prove to you that I'm the best quarterback. There's no question as I looked into his eyes, he had a goal in mind, and he was not going to be denied. In his junior year, Brady started every game and won 10 of his final 11. But to remain the starter his senior season, he would have to fend off sophomore Drew Henson. Before even coming to Michigan, Henson was a state hero, a two-sport phenom for a high school 20 miles outside of Ann Arbor. He probably was the most highly touted athlete to come to Michigan, at least in my memory. You know, he has incredible talents. I mean, faster than I was, stronger, quicker, more elusive, you know, better arm. This guy, as they say, can't miss written all over. Lloyd Carr said, I've never been around a guy that has this much potential. At the start of Brady's senior season, the tight quarterback battle did not automatically go to the upperclassmen. Who's our starting quarterback? What time's the game? 3.30? You'll see then. Coach Carr said, all right, Tom, you're going to start the games. Drew's going to play the second quarter games, and then we're going to decide, you know, who plays after that. He thought he had two good quarterbacks, one to play them both, and he said he was going to go with the hot hand. We had a, a chance to talk to some NFL personnel, and this one director player personnel said he understood why Michigan is continuing to try to get Henson more and more opportunities to go out there and get experience because his upside is so much higher than Tom Brady's. And I said, yeah, but Brady's the guy with the experience. He's the captain. Ten wins last year. He said, yeah, but if he doesn't play Henson, he's got a problem because then Henson's going to go and he's going to go play baseball. Tommy was the clear cut. He was the captain of that team. He was the leader of the team. And he was the best quarterback on that team. Bar none, ask any guy on that team. With Carr juggling the quarterbacks, Michigan won its first five games. But against Michigan State, the Wolverines got in a 17-point hole with Henson. And Brady was asked to dig them out of it. Brady threw for 241 yards in the final 18 minutes and nearly brought Michigan back. After a 307-yard performance the following week, the quarterback competition was over. Brady really separated himself the way he played, and that's when I decided Brady was going to be the quarterback and Drew was going to be the backup. Against Penn State, Michigan trailed by 10 in the final minutes. And the legend of the comeback kid was born. no-brainer leader in intercollegiate athletics in Tom Brady. He's handled this difficult a coaching decision this year in a way that only enhanced his stature among his teammates and all those people who love Michigan. Brady's finest collegiate performance was still to come. The Orange Bowl. It's the last time I'd take the field as a Wolverine. We got down in the game 14-0 and came back and tied at 14-14. We got down 28-14 in the second half came back and made it 28-28. We went to overtime, and I ran a bootleg and threw it to Sean Thompson. Steps up, fires across the middle. His tight end's got it. Sean Thompson, touchdown! They scored and to make it 35-34, and they kicked the extra point and missed the extra point. We won in overtime. Make no mistake, Tom Brady carried us through that game. The Alabama game, in my experience at Michigan, is as fine a performance at quarterback as anybody ever had.
We kidded you about being the comeback kid. Wow. You didn't want to have to wait to the fourth quarter to bring the team back, but you did a tremendous job. What better way to go as a fifth-year senior as an Orange Bowl victory?